Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Jagger, and what you're watching right now is a treatment of laser assisted meniscal decompression in action. So, what we're trying to do here is traction of the knee to the point where we create a little bit of space in the knee joint to circulate the uh, synovial fluid, so the lubricating fluid in the joint. Um, the device here, you'll see, is a traction unit with a harness that attaches to the ankle and a bolster that supports underneath the, um, the back of the leg to isolate the knee joint itself. So we have it on a cycle where it pulls for 10 seconds, relaxes for 10 seconds. So we get flexion and extension of the knee along with axial decompression or traction uh, of the knee joint itself. Now what we're going to add to this is uh, simultaneous laser therapy. Once the uh, traction uh, amount is up and there's some space achieved in the knee. Uh, we're going to apply class 4 laser therapy to increase the circulation, help enhance the healing in the soft tissues, and the distraction will actually um, uh, increase the space between the bones, allowing the laser to penetrate a little bit more deeply. Okay, now you'll see the laser has been armed. So we're ready to begin the laser therapy component uh, of this treatment. So the laser is done simultaneously uh, along with the traction. The advantage of that is as we're separating the bones out under traction, uh, we can actually uh, get the laser to penetrate a little bit deeper. Uh, creates a little bit more space for the laser to travel uh, deeper into the joint. Um, the other big advantage with the traction is you're actually uh, increasing the amount of circulation of the synovial fluid, so the lubricating fluid of the knee. So when a knee has been compressed and there's uh, cartilage damage, there won't be a lot of space between the bones and the cartilage um, the uh, the uh, piece of meniscus or cartilage that the um, uh, femur, so this top bone here, sits in uh, will actually be compressed against the cartilage. So in distracting them, we allow a situation where the, the lubricating fluid can get between the surfaces uh, that it should be between. Um, so we'll just proceed here with the laser. So this red here, you can see the laser. We're going to start applying. You'll hear a beep. The laser will get a little bit more intense uh, brightness. Uh, but it's just a very light warmth that the patient, the patient is feeling. So this is a 10 watt class 4 therapy laser, one of the higher powered ones available. And we've got it in one minute cycles. So we're going to do approximately three to four minutes of laser around this knee here, uh, around the entire joint surface that is exposed here just in this manner here, just to allow the laser to penetrate a little deeper into the knee. So as you see here, we're working on the inside of the knee here. This particular patient has a medial meniscus problem along with medial collateral ligaments. So one of the ligaments and the cartilage on the inside of the knee here has got some issues with it. Quite a common problem. This was from an athletic injury. Um, we're concentrating the laser on those two structures on the medial side of the knee where a lot of the pain and damage is uh, under the traction. So again, we concentrate about one minute on this area normally. We're going to concentrate about two minutes over here just because uh, uh, we're concentrating on exactly where the injury is. So one other thing to note with this treatment, the traction and relaxation phase uh, cycles. Now the importance of that, we go from about zero uh, to 40 pounds of pull, cycling back and forth. Now as you can see, as the uh, traction releases, the patient's knee will flex a little bit. Now the importance of that is that the knee is in relatively constant motion throughout the treatment in flexion and extension. There's a hold at 40 pounds and a hold at the uh, zero to help the knee relax. But uh, as we're doing this motion, it really does, um, uh, the dynamic uh, aspect of this motion helps circulate the uh, synovial fluid, the lubricating fluid around the joint. So that's one uh, very important component of, of what's going on here also. So it isn't just a traction and a hold with the laser. Uh, we're, we're allowing the machine to do a dynamic motion to 
uh, help the circulation in the joint that much more.